Hi, Jane. Hi. 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 Um, I'm Carolyn from Beach Gallery in Orkney. And today we're yeah. going to have a little chat with um, Jane Gordon. Is it Jane F. Gordon? Um, yeah. Who took part in our Wild Things exhibition here in, in, in Orkney and submitted three fabulous paintings. Um, and I picked one of them out to um, to focus on for a class that we're doing next week. And it was Jane's. I don't know if that's coming through on the screen, but it was Jane's yeah. Stay Close to Mama Elephants, which I just fell in love with, Jane. So I was hoping you could tell us a little bit more about what inspires you and how you made the painting. Would that be OK? Yes, um, yes that's fine. I, um, I just love painting animals. I used to paint scenes, I used to do oils and I used to paint scenes and then, you know, I, I'm just an animal person. So um, painting animals is just my thing really. Um, and um, I would paint them mostly in either pastel or, or watercolors. Um, not so much now in oils, I don't use oils very much. So this one was a pen and wash. Um, I hadn't done watercolor at all until about seven years ago. <gasps> and then I really? tried having yeah but I've done oils for about 20 years I thought I'll try watercolors and my goodness it's just so different <laughs> but I found it's hard to get used to it because it was so different but I found pen and wash started me off with it uh, and I really like drawing so pen and wash was good for me yeah. I've now actually just gone to, to doing quite a lot of just watercolors um but for that one I just love elephants I love drawing elephants um I do donkeys and cows and I did over 30 birds um the beginning of lockdown for an a to z of birds i did so that oh i saw that you posted it on facebook yeah. it was just phenomenal yeah. I, I just couldn't attempt anything like that <laughs> so i'm full of admiration for you jane <laughs> thank you um puffins particularly i mean they're just so cute they're just so comical and funny but i just i, I just love painting arms and for some reason i have like about six or seven that are my favorites donkeys cows elephants puffins mm. whatever you know so with the elephants I find pen and wash works for me really well um and I just don't know I just think it's I, I use a permanent pen for the outline mm. but I often use not on this one not on stay close to mama because it was too small I use a, a non-permanent pen for some of the wrinkles uh, in yeah. the elephants skin. is that because on you want them to just bleed into the watercolor watercolor yeah and it can yeah. make really good effects you get lovely purpley colors or bluey colors depending on the pen you're using um but sometimes i don't and i didn't on that one and yeah. so i normally use three colors i normally use the yellow ochre the lizard crimson the prussian blue because they come together yeah. with a lovely gray oh they certainly do i mean that's um when people are learning and they've got an array of colors in the palette it's tempting just yeah. to sort of keep dabbing and dabbing and dabbing and you end up with a too many colors but they all just blend together so beautifully don't they very yeah. harmonious yeah <laughs> yes those pictures are good because they make a really nice i used to use more brownies and brownier elephants but now i've gone to the gray color and and i sometimes use salt um but not on that because it's too small no yeah so how how do you um like using the salt what sort of effect are you trying to achieve or it's accidental, well, really, it, with salt, isn't it? It is accidental. I'll do it in rocks because it gives a lovely texture to the rocks. Um, but with the elephants, I do it on the first wash. When, the, when those three colours are mixing together, I will put it in when it's still wet. And then they look terrible. They look like they've got some awful disease. <laughs> <laughs> but, but when I go to the second wash, uh, it covers a lot of that and it just ends up like a, a, a wrinkly... You know, like an elephant skin, which is textured mm. and wrinkly, and it ends up doing that. But for a small piece, I think it would just have been too much, you know, because it yeah. just would have gone too much. Yeah. So, so um, do you try and I get all always... the salt off again, or do you leave leave it on to just come off naturally? I leave it on. on what? Well, no, I don't. I don't. I leave it on when it's drying. Then I put the second wash, which is a mixture of those three colors, on again, and then I let that dry and then I sometimes put a third very dark wash just in the, the creases of the ears or the back leg yeah. or the places where it gets very very dark 
And then at that point, when that's dry, yeah, I will take the salt off then, yes. Yeah. I don't yeah. leave it on. No, no. Sometimes I find it doesn't come off again when I do it. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is just absolutely gorgeous. And you really helpfully provided us with a few um, instructions, which I which I tried out the other day. And I, I have to say, I've never painted an elephant in my life before, but uh, it came out reasonably okay. I don't know if that's showing up on the camera. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. It's browner, yeah, yeah. probably browner than it should be. Um, well, I don't know. I, I forgot the back yeah. foot on the little one as well. <laughs> I forgot his back I foot. <laughs> I don't think it matters if they're brown because it depends. I mean, if you look yeah. at them, you know, if the sun is shining, if it's if it's um, going to be dusk or something, and you can get pinky yeah. colours from the yeah. sun. So, so I don't think. And uh, when they're very dark bits, when I put them in, uh, sometimes yeah. it can be very blue. Other times it can be very purpley, and yeah. I think it doesn't matter. You know, it's fine depending on. You know, I've got a big confession kind of though. I traced yours. <laughs> Isn't that awful? <laughs> That's why it's so good. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just love the way that the three colours move together. Um, yeah. And they've created yeah. this sort of, um, you can see the pink and the blue and the yellow ochre, but you know it's grey. It's a sort of an illusion in places where they don't, the layers haven't covered each other. Um, but it's yeah. so satisfying just to work with three colours and not try yeah. and you know work from left to right is which sometimes beginners do um and then they run yes. out of the run out of the right color at the end um so it's a good exercise really in forcing people to use three colors it's it's just great yeah but the composition is wonderful as well your choice of um image there is just wonderful where where, yeah. where do you get the the composition well, that's, from or? that's the problem I can't really go out and see elephants, so um, I really just look at pictures, um, pictures on the internet or pictures anywhere I can find them, and then I sometimes just combine. Like I had to do one recently, which somebody wanted for a wedding, and it was like a daddy and a mummy and a baby elephant. Well, the, the three were meant to be represent the three Aww. people in the family. So I um, I try. I just looked at different pictures and then combined them. Mm -hmm. you know so that add three elephants or i yeah. maybe see them walking one way and i'll reverse it and maybe put two or three babies in behind i just yeah. you know yeah. i did one where there was just three babies and they were chasing and i just called it chases oh. because they were just but there were three completely different pictures and i just <clears> combined them you know mm -hmm. just try to find pictures and then in my head think oh well, that would work with that and put them together you know mm -hmm. basically I'd love to go and see elephants, but I don't think there's much chance of that. <laughs> yeah, we don't have them in Orkney. <laughs> no. We've, we've got, got lots of puffins, that. though. We do have lots of puffins. Um, yeah, it would be really nice just to kind of sit at the zoo, wouldn't it, and do quick line drawings, yeah. a bit like those ones you posted on Facebook of your different animals, where you there were all sorts of different animals on together. Um, and just yeah. do a quick sketch and if it wasn't quite right well the elephant would have moved and you could just capture another well, angle and if you put them all together animals, it yes. would just look animals great. Can move all the time you they know, do but, they and, do and often, <laughs> often um, elephants in zoos are quite often indian elephants right um but I, I don't know of any, well, here, we, I think there's only an Indian elephant. I don't know. But I normally do the African elephants because I like the great big yeah. ears. And the, ah, they are right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're a different oh. shape, body shape. Yeah. So have you got any advice to our budding artists that are coming along next week? They have been here before a few times and they've painted some wonderful puffins in the past. Um, right. So I thought I'd try them with these indigenous to Orkney uh, elephants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you got any advice? What one, you know, one piece of advice that you could give them for next week? Um, well, when you're blending those colours, just make sure that everything is still wet, not soaking wet, but wet. Because right. if it start to dry, they're not going to blend together. No. Um, and you're going to get hard edges. I don't want any hard edges. 
except for the edge of the elephant. I want it, you know, I, when I'm doing it, I want it all to flow so that it's a soft, lovely, just blending on the soft color together and no hard edges. So that's what I'm aiming for. Right. I'll let you see the results then. <laughs> <laughs> right. So what are your yeah. plans then, Jane? Have you got anything in, in the pipeline? Are you doing an exhibition or a commission or anything? What's coming up? Well, I, I have done exhibitions and quite frequently I would do them for charities and things too, because I, I retired and this is something I do because I just love painting. Mm. Um, so, but there haven't been any exhibitions with COVID, you know, there just hasn't been right. anything. Yeah. Uh, my, 30, my 30 bird paintings are all sitting there <laughs> waiting, but we'll oh. see what happens. Uh, oh. Commission, yeah, sometimes I get them, but at the moment I'm just doing two he boxing hairs at the moment. That's what I'm doing at the moment. Ah, yes, so I've you, seen that on your Facebook page. You're posting the different stages, aren't you, of how you're building it up? I think that's incredible. I just um, have to have something on the go. I always have something that I'm doing, you know. Yeah. Um, so there's not sort of, there's not a time when, I might not do it for a day or two, but there's always something in progress. And at the moment, it's the tears. <laughs> yeah. So, so whereabouts are you? What's it like where you where you live? Uh, I'm in Northern Ireland, yeah, and um, yeah, it's uh, what weather-wise do you mean? <laughs> well, what, are you what near way? in the country or near the sea? You're obviously oh, not no. near any elephants. <laughs> no, near the, near the sea in Bangor. Oh, lovely. Uh, yeah, just not far yeah. from the sea, yeah. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. It's a constant source of um, inspiration, isn't it? Well, yes, there are, uh, there are a lot of birds and we have Castle Espy, which is a wildlife sanctuary. So I would, oh. the COVID has been making things difficult, but I would go there. Um, there are a lot of geese and swans and all sorts of birds that you can look at there. So, uh, yes, and there are puffins, obviously, up in Rathlin and places like that. But, uh, yeah, there's yeah. plenty of bird life. Brownford Lock, there's plenty of bird life. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so birds are birds are okay you can see lots of birds <laughs> oh well that's really great of you to share your tips and um techniques i'll certainly pass them on and show them to um people that are coming next week that's really great um and we'll share our results with you if that's okay <laughs> yeah so that's thank great. you so much jane thank you very much so i'll I'll stop okay. our recording now. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you.